All right, what's up, guys and gentlemen? Welcome back to Penumbra Overture. And again, as always, I don't know where the fuck we are. We're some kind of laboratory, I suspect. Is there drugs in here? Nope. So I'm guessing what we need to do is find a key for. I forgot where we were supposed to go. Um. Oh. It's badly faded, but it's still. Uh, but it looks like a close-up view of some species of annulled. Wait, what is annulled? Stacks of books. They're a mixture of industrial references material and scientific journals. Hmm. Okay. So I'm guessing it's this. Oh. <laughs> I could just move it. Ah, do the worm. Like a leech, or like a turd. <laughs> I don't want to corrupt your minds of what I just said. Please don't picture it as a poop. Ew. Ew. Uh. Come here. Let's put you back on there. Ooh. Cut it open. Oh. Okay. Anything of use here? Not really. What about in here? What the hell? An old newspaper? Uh. Hmm. Hmm. What the hell? Uh, pretty well battered. Uh, very well. St it is still readable. Very little still readable. Oh, my God. I, what the fuck, man? I can't read for shit. All right. So I guess that's all we needed. It's locked from the other side, but I think there's... Wait, what? There's still a key. There's keys somewhere. I have keys on me. Wait, there's a key stuck in there. I see that. Uh, the door's locked. Looks, uh, looks like there's something stuck in the keyhole. Hmm. Screwdriver? Poking the key out isn't going to achieve anything. I need... I need a way to collect it from the other side of the door once I pushed it out. Hmm. Oh, okay. I see. Now we use the screwdriver. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, that's cool. Now I can't open it. Okay. Metal key. Do we need the... Okay. Hmm. Okay. Creepy, creepy shit. What the hell is this? What the hell is this? Good job, me. All right, Professor. These are biomedical journal. Oh, wait, what? These are the biomedical journals of Doctor Patis, Patiers. I don't know. MSc, PhD, completed between the dates of 30th March 1969 and the first. Uh, the and 1st January 1972. At the Northwestern Research Station within the Northwestern Iron Mine, with the permission of Delta Mining Corp, replication of uh, selected extracts left at the disposal of mine f of wait what of mine foreman. Blah. Subject of study: genus wait what? Ryocopophila. Ryocophila. I I don't know if I'm saying that right. Whatever. Commonly. Gray rock. Why did you just say gray rock worm? For fuck's sakes. Uh, their aim is to investigate the abnormal presence of the cadids, cadids in the Greenland rock method collection of samples. If indeed they can be in uh, identified correctly. Standard series of testing, observation, and dis uh, dissection. Personal notes. Upon arrival of the mining facility, I was immediately stunned by the sheer volume of 
fauna, fauna, uh, fauna. I don't know. The the V's look like fucking U's, and the U's look like fucking V's. So whatever. But I'm pretty sure that's fauna. Reading that stunned, that that has to be a U. So fauna. That finds a way of life down here, despite the conditions. In general, one would assume that species whose natural habitats is past a certain depth would find the intrusion of human activity too great a threat to remain a place. Remain in place, but however, almost the exact opposite seems to be in the case of this instance. Instance. What well, yeah. It is curious that certain areas of the mine appear to be entirely without life of any kind, and yet other deeper areas are teeming and were the situation permitting, I would embrace the opportunity to commit further time to the study of these organisms. However, the purpose of my stay here shall continue to be the genus- THE GREY ROCK WORM! Fuck, man. Me. Okay. Uh, finally. Some writing paper. Look at me. Just using up the pages to scrawl down whatever comes into my head. Huh. What is this stuff anyway? Some kind of research paper? No matter, it's paper all the same. I can finally record what's been, what's been happening down here for, I suppose, about a year now. It must be near the end of 2001 by now. <laughs> I wonder when Christmas was. No matter, too tired to write now. We'll rest a little first. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened, so I guess some of the notes he found, he decided to just. Oh, there's more. Uh, it's an artificial habitat. Those, those things look long dead. I think I know how to f how they felt, but not being able to get out. Uh, God, it's really testing my ability to talk. <laughs> these things are just fun to break. What are these anyway? They're like little tails or something. Well, something indeed happened. Holy sh shit! Hey! Just gonna kill these. What does these... What the fuck? All oh, these cabinets are damaged. Something violent went on here. Okay. Hey. I can't read that. That's a lot of shit. Blood is deep. Head is dying. What the fuck? There's writing scrawled everywhere. Must be an ultraviolet ink. Definitely a product of deranged mind, but who's... Ah, but we need that ultraviolet ink! We need it for the note! Where is it? You have the ultraviolet link in here. Uh, link. Ha! <laughs> ink! God damn it! Well, I guess... There's writing scrawled everywhere, blah. Okay, but what about this? Oh! Let's read that paper. Ah, with the UV light, there's some text showing up on the blank piece of paper. Storage password is 1371. I need to write that down somewhere. I'm gonna forget it because there's a lot of dogs out there. Okay. 1371. We got what we needed? Um, while you hunt for those delicate, uh, melt in your mouth, mousy morsels. There are places you should not go, for, for fear of death. The Reaper lives here, just like you and I. And just like you and I, he must ingest the living flesh of those less fortunate to him. There is a small place that I do not want you to visit, even on your holidays. Because it is dark and evil place that I've been. When the darkness has overwhelmed my small decaying mind. Some bad things have flowed from my mind and through my pen. The brilliant blue ink itself seemed to turn to blood into my grace. Hmm. And by the way, should you turn peckish, red is at its finest sauteed with a little engine oil. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Where am I? Okay, maybe, uh... I think we had to go to section C, tool storage. So head down that way. Fuck! So bitch! I just jumped its head like a fucking ninja!
Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, okay, good. Yeah, we lost the doggy. We lost the doggy. I think we should really block up that place now. And yep. Ah, uh, one, three, seven, one. Yeah. Can I kill these dogs with this? Did I kill it? Oh God! Really, the hunger is becoming rather uncomfortable here. How far away are you? You cannot be far. I am held captive by a wall of stone in the northeast of the mine. As in any drama, there are many roles to be played. You must act the scientist in mixing potions, act the renegade in plots of destruction. Hmm. On your travels for the tools with which you will fashion my rescue, you may discover the place of my last meal. Be careful. The shiny, solid floor of water is not as solid as it seems. Poor Red was almost swallowed whole. The two fools he met who plummeted into my domain have long since departed, though not I expect from whence they came. I ate ravenously of biped meat that day, uh, but Red promises feasting only began when the men became pungent. What the fuck when the up? of life had gone, and only the sweet aroma of decay remained. God, Red, you're so fucking annoying. I think I can kill these. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh, you can't kill these. Okay. Well, I I am so sorry, but I really don't want them to attack me anymore. So now we can kill these dogs with the pickaxe. Um, I'm not proud about that, but we we can. Uh, sorry, doggy. I can't have you biting my butt cheeks anymore. Lake Utikok. I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> lake Utikok. I wonder if it's an actual lake. I'm curious now. Holy shit, it is. Holy shit. That's cool. There's a save here. All right, what does it say? When I when I use these now, I feel as I'm not the only one. I'm getting crowded in there. Like I'm just one visitor of many. Strange thing is, they all seem familiar. Alright, uh, disused shed, who knows how old it is, or who last used it. It looks solid, but not much, as it seems down here. <laughs> Won't catch me tricking across. Oh. Fuck! Ah! I live! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! Fuck! I had it! Ah! Damn it! <laughs> I could do this! No! No! Yes! <laughs> Woo! I don't have it trying to pull the crowbar out of the frozen hand. Yes, you do! Just hit it! What do you mean you don't? Can we just saw it off? Oh, yes! <laughs> yeah! Now we got a crowbar! Oh, we can't use it as a weapon. Okay. Okay, we're gonna die if we go there. Okay, we can. Oh, cool. Fuck! Can I pick up. Yeah, I'm taking the hand with me. This will come in handy. Come here. 
No! Andy! No! No! <laughs> I can't pick him up. You fucking serious? Fuck! Yes! Fuck you, I made it, fucker. Yay, we got the crowbar. I don't know why, but we did. It's the same thing? Oh, yeah, same thing. Okay. Yay, we got what we needed. That's cool. That was cool. Ah, fuck. Come on! Fuck! Keep still! Fucker! Fuck you! Go back here and die! Fuck! <sighs> what am I doing? You fuck! Stop it! Sorry, doggy, but it had to be done. Just fucking heal yourself, dude. Come on. Chemical storage. Yes. This can't be good. What? Uh oh. Ah! Get in there! Fuck up! Ah! Damn it! Fuck that! Ah! I fell in the fucking acid! Damn it! Go! Go! Fuck! Fuck! Oh my god! Fuck it! Fuck it! Just fuck it, man! My God, for fuck's sakes! Come on! Ah! No! Bullshit! God, what the fuck? I didn't even fucking ah! Oh. Don't give a shit. Okay, good. Oh, my brain can barely imagine the feats of action men like heroics you must be performing to Shut save all Shut the fuck up! I am waiting so close now for you to blow down the walls of my earthbound prison cell and release me from this mortal coil. I'm just gonna fucking shoot you in the face if I had a gun. I wish I could just do that.
Ugh. Fucking kill me already. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, put a fucking drug cabinet right over there and have nothing in there. That's always cool, you know? More chemicals and shit. A boot. Ugh. Oh, we're gonna go through there. I really don't. We'll just let myself heal. Anything in here? Anything at all? I don't know why you give me that. Cool. <laughs> Save. <sighs> this is the same one? Oh no. There. It's me. I'm inside that box and outside it. I don't. I can't get things straight in my head. Magnesium, calcium, barium, barium, chloride, phosphorus, and sodium. Don't forget it. Badly administrated dopamine clouds, frequently everything. Magnesium? Okay. Uh. A, B, I don't have C. Where is C? I'm, I'm missing one. Right? A, B, C, D, F. I'm missing. I'm missing one. Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. Uh. I think we're good. Let's just save one more time before I leave. Incinerator. I'm not strong enough to use my head. Oh, okay. Crowbar. Okay. Where are you, my shiny knight? Have you really made it this far? I wait and wait, and yet the pot never boils. I remain trapped in my den of iniquity. Hmm. Perhaps the gods have toyed with me once more. This must be Sentence me to yet a more place. years in this place of eternal nightlight. But now, maybe my ill advice has ended you. Have you rung death's doorbell? Please don't leave poor Ren all alone once more. Like all the others. I don't know what you want me to do, buddy. Oh, God, I can't see shit. I mean, I can see, but... Not as good as it. Oh. Huh. Hmm. Uh, this room should serve me well as a potion mixer, with explosive books being my guide. Okay. Ooh, glass container. Okay. And oh nope, wrong one. There we go. Alright, let's check if there's any healing shit. Yes, two. Okay, good. Let's save just in case. It's like there's a carbon copy of me inside the artifact, except that there's more than one, and they're not very good copies. Hmm. Alright, let's take a look at that explosive books. Let's see what we can do. Alright. C. E. No. What? A. Nope. What? What do you mean, no? I... I think that's it. So so long as careful when I move, I sh should be steep. Uh... What do you mean? 
What if I just place it? <laughs> okay, um, I did it. I don't know which one was which, but I did it. Alright, so this should be an explosive. Wow, I really have to do platforming for this. Shit, don't blow this up. Don't fuck this up, Joe. You have a very highly explosive chemical in your hand. And you don't want to fuck it up. And... Hadouken! I died. I'm just gonna lay it down here. Oh, okay. Dynamite. Okay. And stay over here. What? What the fuck? How? How did I die this time? That's some bullshit. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Should I run? What am I supposed to do? Alright, so I have to be missing something. I don't know what the fuck I'm missing for. Let's take a long look in here. Painkillers. I already took those. Anything on these shelves? No. What is it? Oh my fucking god, are you serious? You f there was a fuse in this fucking place all along. Fucking bullshit, man. I spent like fucking 30 minutes walking around every fucking area looking for that fu for something at least. Alright, so we got the fucking fuse. Oh, fucking awesome. I was. Look what I was doing. I was throwing fucking beef jerky trying to explode it. Cool, isn't it, huh? Alright. Okay. I like this shit. Let's get away from it. Actually, I want to see it. Oh, okay, never mind. I was already late. Good job, me. Okay. Let's see what is behind this door. Wait, there's more shit. It's locked. Okay. Hmm. Take a look around this area first. It's just trash and shit. Uh. Good evening. You you, you actually came. There is much that should leave my club box now, but words elude me. Uh -huh. You came. You are so pretty, but I have been bad. The underworld already beckons me, so I suppose one further misdemeanor will change little. It is false pretension, and not guiding light, with which I have led you here. I cannot give you the answers you want. What? You may wish to find what it is you seek, but that is a fiction. You cannot know what it is you sought through the vast leaden doorway, or else you would seek anything else in the world. No, the key stays with me, in here. So the life that has led me, horrible as it may be, is better still than the life that waits for you. Hungry behind those doors. As replacements go, you shall be admirably abnormal. But you must wonder why this metal burning chamber is talking to you in a voice you knew only as red. For it is I, your companion, residing within. You see, I have waited for this day so many years. They won't let me die. They have parts of my head are not my own. And I cannot take my life, it is against the rules. Please, the pain has gone on for so long. 
All I wanted was a friend, but now the time for chit chats and marshmallows by the fire is ended, and I <laughs> hope that soon, and so shall my life. I have knocked on the death's door for so long. Please, let him invite me in for tea. Okay, I guess he's just asking us to kill him. Uh, vicious looking things, almost like meat hooks, because they are meat hooks, you fucking idiot. Well, <sighs> goodbye, Red. I'm sorry about this. Man, I am so sorry. Jesus, that's a little ashes. All the remains of my only friend down here. Requiesca in pace. I don't know if I said that wrong. I think I did. Rest in peace, my friend. Okay. I think this is the exit. This door, it's different. Newer than all the others. This must be where Red's been leading me all this time. What's behind this door, though? Poor Red. I'm so sorry. You're at peace now. Shut up! My dearest friend, how are you? I am as well as can be expected. I have some sad news though. A few days ago, there was some kind of collapse and some of the ceiling of the cave fell in on me. What scares me is that I was in an off-limits part of the mine. They may not look at me here, but if they do and they find me, I'll be in such trouble. Oh, much trouble. So much trouble. Blah! Fuck. But I don't think I have to worry. I don't think you- Wait, what? But I don't think I'll have to worry about that. Because I'm not sure I'll be getting out of here. I don't mind so much. I've been walking in the mine for about three weeks now. And I'm really proud that I can send money home. But it's pretty tough work. And so far, you're the only person that really has been nice to me. Plus, I have some nice company down here. There's some friendly kind of creepy crawlies and some books I brought from home that I was taking to the rec room. If you if you think about it, I was really quite lucky I had all this stuff with me. Otherwise, I'd be bored stiff as it is. I have Shakespeare, Bronte, Nietzsche, I don't know. Perfect bedtime reading, although I... Suppose I might be trapped here long enough that I have to read them twice. Always used to ask my mom how long pe uh, people survived without food and things. I always asked. I always used to ask to my mom how long people survived without food and things. I read how some people can survive underwater for over five minutes, and some people last in the deserts for weeks. But she always said you had three minutes of air, three days of water, etc. I suppose I'll probably find out soon enough. I guess if I had to, I could find food around the place. Like I said, there's all sorts of creatures here, but they're better off all as my friends than my lunch. I wonder whether I shall starve to death or go crazy first. Neither sounds too much fun, I guess, but if I had to choose, I'd say I want to go mad. It sounds like an adventure. Tom Redwood, proper mine worker, December 1970. H4. Oh. Holy shit. He's been down here for f oh my god. He was only 14 when he went into this mine. That's fucking I don't know how I feel about that, man. That's I'm sad that I had to kill him now. I'm really sad. I'm so sorry, Red. 
I. What is this? Living out how Red managed to catch, kill this thing. It's quite clearly inedible. Poor guy must have been close to starving to death. That's probably why. He probably ate that and became crazy. I feel so sorry for him now. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there are two. The chains on his. The chains on his arms are visible now. Not there out of choice. Farther looks aghast. He clutches some notes, shaking hands. He knows. He knows what has come. What the man has released. The only one who could stop it. Howard knows the real fear. If I never seen another of these things, I don't know. I don't like them. But at the same time, I know that I'm leaving a part of myself behind each time I go near them. Can I just leave it here? Jesus, from the stench, I think this this might have been his toilet. I. Uh, what the hell, man? No wonder he was getting hungry. What a final meal. Ration slugs. Still knowing red, perhaps he enjoyed them. How many hours did he spend with his neck in this noose, just trying to end it all? God, this is just depressing now. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? It's an electrical panel. Funny place to have one. Uh, I guess we're gonna... Electrics may be running out of the door. Out on the door, blah. I guess we open the door over there? I guess that's what we needed to do. A door. It's different. Can't get a hold of it. I need something to lever it open. <laughs> As I stepped into the mouth of the underground facility, there should have been questions, fears, doubts running through me. Instead, I was torn in two. Part of me, I felt, had died, along with my only ally and friend. His final words had raised more questions than they answered. His final words had raised more questions than they've answered, and I couldn't get his screams for help out of my head, despite knowing, deep down, that the pain I had caused Red was, itself, all the help I could have offered him. I was alone again, but I had nothing to do other than press on into the unknown. If I'd felt so bad about Red, I should have listened to him and stayed where I was. I would trade his fate a hundred times for my own. The other side of me was looking forward to what might await me in my continued journey. I felt sure that I would soon find some clues or other to my father's fate, and that he was inextricably linked to everything that was happening. I also couldn't help but suspect that everything I had seen up until that point was just symptomatic of whatever lay beyond the threshold. I know now. I was right. Welcome to the shelter. Established 1973. Elevated Castle 4. Chief Staff 6. Lower Castle 39. Temporary 8. Total Population 57. Key Members. Chief Overseer Wilbert Frisk 80 to present. Bren Stiffcern 73 to 80. Chief Chemist Neil Oswald Troy Rintab. Wait, what? Rest in peace, 91. Construction unit, Perit Patel, blah, 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 blah. Okay, these are just people who are living in here, I guess. Or the key members. Please have your identity documents ready. Hmm. the fuck <laughs> what 
What the fuck? With that, the man who had first descended into the mine was no more, and so began my next chapter to be continued. Oh shit! Oh damn! <laughs> Oh yeah, so th th I guess that was episode one. Holy fuck! <laughs> All right, I guess this is the final, final episode, guys. Of Penumbra Overture. Ooh. All right. Actual games, the programming. I'll just let this credits roll. So, um, yeah. <laughs> I'll be. I'll just wait. <laughs> Alright, so, I guess that's Penumbra Overture. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's the ending to Penumbra Overture. This is basically episode one of the trilogy, I guess. There's two more. I'll be playing Black Plague later on, don't worry. Uh, but I'll be on a hold for a while. Uh, I still got my other... other playthroughs I want to try to finish, obviously. Um, what I can tell you guys right now is... I... I got... I got back into the Crooked Man, so I will try to finish that one first, as well, with Condemned. I'll finish those two. And as soon as I'm done with those two, it will just be Penumbra, Dark Souls 3, and um, Cry of Fear that I'll be working on all through all that shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, don't worry. I will be continuing this shit. Don't worry. It's it's freaking awesome. But with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. Spread some love out there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.